Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to learn about the entire history of the British monarchy. Let's begin. A long time ago, in the year 1066, a man named William the Conqueror came from Normandy, in France, and became the King of England. This was the start of the British monarchy as we know it. William's family ruled for many years. One of the famous kings from his family was Henry II, who had a son named Richard the Lionheart. Richard was famous for going on crusades, which were long trips to the Middle East to fight in religious wars. After Richard, his brother John became king. King John wasn't very popular. He had many fights with the nobles, and they made him sign a paper called the Magna Carta in 1215. The Magna Carta was important because it limited the king's power and gave more rights to the people. Many years later, the Tudors came to power. The first Tudor king was Henry VII. His son, Henry VIII, is very famous. He had six wives and created the Church of England because he wanted to divorce his first wife, but the Pope wouldn't let him. After Henry VIII, his three children became rulers Edward VI, Mary I, and Elizabeth I. Elizabeth I was one of the greatest queens. She never married and was known as the Virgin Queen. Her reign was called the Elizabethan Era, a time when the arts and exploration thrived. When Elizabeth I died in 1603, the throne passed to her cousin, James VI of Scotland, who became James I of England. This started the Stuart dynasty. James I's son, Charles I, wasn't very good at working with Parliament, and this led to the English Civil War. The war was between the King's supporters, called Royalists, and Parliament supporters, called Parliamentarians. The Parliamentarians won, and in 1649, Charles I was executed. England became a republic for a short time under Oliver Cromwell, but the monarchy was restored in 1660 with Charles II. Charles II's brother, James II, became king after him, but he was Catholic, and many people in England didn't like that. In 1688, James II was overthrown in what's called the Glorious Revolution. William of Orange and his wife, Mary, who were both Protestant, took the throne as William III and Mary II. After them, the throne passed to Queen Anne. Anne had many children, but none survived. So when she died in 1714, the crown went to a distant cousin from Germany, George I, starting the Hanoverian dynasty. George I didn't speak English well and relied on his ministers, which helped develop the system of constitutional monarchy we have today, where the king or queen doesn't have all the power. The Hanoverians continued to rule through George II, George III, George IV, William IV, and then Queen Victoria. Victoria became queen in 1837 and ruled for a very long time. Her time as queen is called the Victorian era, which was a period of great change and expansion for Britain. After Victoria, her son Edward VII became king, and then his son George V. During George V's reign, World War I happened. After him, his son Edward VIII became king, but he abdicated, which means he gave up the throne to marry a woman he loved. So his brother George VI became king. George VI was king during World War II, and his daughter, Elizabeth II, took over in 1952. Queen Elizabeth II was the longest reigning monarch in British history until she passed away in 2022. Now, her son Charles III is the king. That's the entire history of the British monarchy, from William the Conqueror to Charles III. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell icon for more fun history videos. See you next time.